Bitcoin is about to break above a major resistance level. And if this sounds interesting to you, make sure to continue watching this video. Hey guys, Pingu Charts here and welcome back to another Bitcoin analysis. Now, before we begin this video, as always, if you do enjoy watching my videos, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Now, we can see that Bitcoin has been hovering above this resistance level at 21.5. We see a few wicks to the downside, but it looks like the bears are still weak here, right? We haven't seen a massive move in terms of the bearish movement. We have some consolidation, but again, it does not mean that the bears are in control as of right now. I did mention in the last video that we would be testing around this level of the $22,000 mark with this wick in interest and it looks like we wicked exactly to almost the dollar and then rejected to the downside. Now currently Bitcoin is forming a bullish candlestick above resistance once again and it looks like if we can get above this white line that would be a huge for Bitcoin right? You guys can see we failed to get above that white line pri uh, previously. We did mention we did move above reject and then come back to the downside and over here we can see that we did break above but then failed and now we're retail testing that blue line at 21.5 now again if we do see that breakout formation the next pattern of interest would be around the $22,000 mark that is a major level for bitcoin if we zoom out on the price action here we can see the reason why is because that level was tested multiple times over here and failed to break below right we did have a fake out right here and then continued on higher but again that level will act as a very strong resistance for bitcoin once we overcome that level we should be heading towards the 23 $24,000 mark but but again in my opinion i don't see a reason why bitcoin would really move up there as of right now this was a short squeeze pattern and i did mention that right now it looks like there is a bart formation right where you have a move to the upside like this you have some consolidation and then a move to the downside again i can show you guys an example of that right over here right we had this massive move to the upside consolidation and then right back down so with that can definitely happen the question is always where is that move going to end and obviously that's what we're trying to kind of figure out right in my opinion, we could see a move all the way up to 23 before we see that consolidation and then that move back down or a move to the 22.6 at the highest and then come back down, right? But that BART formation will definitely complete sooner or later. Regardless of where we consolidate, that move will be massive for Bitcoin, right? As of right now, if we look on the RSI, we are definitely overbought. But again, that doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, it's a good time to short. If we look on the lower time frames on the hourly, you can see that Bitcoin has been consolidating above a previous resistance level which is usually a bullish indication right if you see a bearish movement it doesn't necessarily happen right at a consolidation above resistance right it'll usually happen if it's below resistance like if we start consolidating like this then you'll see a move to the downside otherwise you'll see a consolidation above resistance and then a move to the upside so that's pretty much what we're looking at right now again we have to be careful about entering any short positions we want to see a clear breakout right in terms of long positions you wouldn't want to be entering until we have a a clean break above this level of 22,000, right? If we go back on the four hour, you can see what I'm saying is the reason for that is previously we had quite a few fake outs, right? We had a wick right here, a wick right here, and a wick right here. For any long positions that got caught out around this level, were immediately rejected and immediately got hit by stop loss. You don't want to be trying to guess exactly where the move is going to happen. So for now, just play it safe, guys. Look for the consolidation move. And if you're looking for shorting opportunities, then wait till a major level of resistance is going to be tested. As of right now, this is just watch and play and kind of see how it can play out right you don't want to be entering right now you don't want to be trying to guess you know consolidation wise if we open up our exponential moving averages here though you can see that we are still above the yellow line right the the, the nine exponential moving average we are still above that and i mentioned that as long as bitcoin can stay above the exponential moving averages we should continue on going further if we do see a wick to the downside the worst case scenario we'll see is a twenty one thousand dollar wick but if we break below that exponential moving average then we would see a major downtrend movement start again so as of right now that's all i have for you guys today thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys have a wonderful day